Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal, hey market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have today, Tuesday, the uh, 19th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, the markets today, still euphoria exists with regards to the uh, tax cuts. Certainly gets underway today. Mr. Trump certainly has the uh, the bill on his uh, desk on by Wednesday. Let's see exactly uh, what happens there in terms of any potential uh, swings back and forth. Okay, uh, I let, we all know that the uh, individuals that are benefiting the most from this are the uh, multi multi millionaires. The rest of the individuals, literally, are just cannon fodder. Really, um, it's always the rich that get richer and the poor get poorer. And this uh, tax bill is is no different. All it basically does is it enriches corporations because they pay less tax they repatriate money and statistically it's been proven as well that that money generally only goes towards share buybacks and an increased dividends so it doesn't actually create jobs at all it might give you an artificial illusion that um, the stock market is going higher therefore it's going to create more jobs and growth etc that's not the case i'm afraid that's not the case either way uh, we have yet to be proven wrong history could testify to that okay and we'll see if that's uh, pretty that obviously happens going forward for now stock markets certainly are in a bubble again light volume going into christmas season seasonal uh, seasonality certainly helping the indices as well but from my perspective mr trump's uh, comments yesterday with regards to china and russia uh, his imperialist white supremacist racist bigoted um, uh, egotistical view uh, of the world which is very very uh, distorted especially given the fact that he lost the vote in jerusalem as well 14 to 1 in the united nations certainly voting against the Israeli apartheid and the uh, ethnic cleansing that's going on there against the Palestinians. Certainly uh, uh, very, very negative from my perspective as well uh, going forward in terms of uh, geopolitical tensions going in the, in the world, especially given the fact that we had a missile fired uh, for, uh, towards uh, Saudi Arabia today as well, which was uh, obviously uh, interjected. So uh, again, geopolitics certainly is a cause for concern. Trade wars with China, Russia, certainly on the, on the agenda as well now, and that certainly is, doesn't bode well for uh, American exports going forward. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo. Let's look at the Asian markets overnight. You have the Shanghai higher, you have the Hang Seng higher as well, but the Nikkei certainly closed lower, so again, a cause for concern, although you did have the BOJ talking up wage price and obviously uh, certainly uh, not helping in terms of USD, JPY. Again, uh, certainly appreciating there, and therefore that, again, is another risk or factor. In terms of European markets, nothing major this morning other than the fact that Mr Barnier certainly... Uh, uh, wading in there uh, we've had new uh, construction data out of, out of um, the uh, eurozone certainly coming in uh, weaker than expected labor costs as well certainly coming in weaker than expected so again that certainly is a concern uh, IFO expectations came in on the weaker side and German data overall missed uh, slightly weak although not a major miss at that in terms of CPI data out of uh, eurozone earlier on today uh, CPI data inflation data certainly was on the weaker side so bear that in mind as well Okay, so that's the status quo. Let's look at the actual technical picture now, given the fact that Asian markets, US markets certainly are ec ec ecstatic, okay? Uh, German DAX certainly is has stalled, okay? Again, you have the unfilled gap below at 13,100 to watch out for. Daily chart is into that 75% resistance, okay? So I am looking for risk off here with the potential H&S formation in play. If you look at the 60-minute chart as well, we certainly have uh, overextended here from my uh, in interpretation and now looking for reversal, especially in European indices. Okay, in terms of the um, French CAC, let's just quickly look at that, bring that up. Again, you can see that we've held resistance here at 5420 now, certainly rejected. Again, you've got the unfilled gap below, that certainly needs to close. Daily chart holding that FIB 61% resistance, therefore looking for weakness. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, the daily chart certainly has rejected that level at 7464. We're back down to 7544 now, let's see exactly how the daily chart plays out. 60 minute chart, again, looking for a reversal. You can see the 60 minute resistance certainly has held up. And the market certainly has reversed. The next lower level below now is 7.510 on the downside. If we start to flush on the FTSE 100, which again needs to be aided by the uh, the US equity. So let's see what the uh, games that are playing being played out in America in terms of tax reform. Okay, uh, and that's basically where we stand now. Quickly bring up the euro stocks as well. The uh, small European index, a 10 minute chart certainly seems like it's um, found resistance at 3.512. You have that unfilled gap below, watch out for, okay? 60-minute chart certainly is resistance. You do have resistance at 3,520 as well, so watch out there. Daily chart as well, showing resistance and upper level being 3,620. So, again, that's certainly a zone to potentially short, okay? On that note, I think I'm going to call it a day then uh, in terms of, or should we call it a wrap uh, with regards to European indices. Again, my conclusion really is that German DAX 
is going to lead the way so look out for resistance there european equity or should we say s p 500 as you can see here two major gaps higher okay so to a large extent tax reform certainly is being priced in from 2055 60 2695 any any uh news to the contrary you are going to see a reversal quite sharply so 2695 is a resistance if we break 2695 obviously european equities will follow higher if we hold that resistance then european equities will follow lower on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.